Hey there, YouTube. I'm Jack, and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. It looks like we made it to the end of another week, and all ready for a nice uh, weekend. Hope everybody else has some stuff lined up to do this weekend. Uh, anyhow, today I want to share a raw vegan food haul and things I keep on hand here in the house. I've gotten asked a number of times about a food haul, uh, my shopping, blah, blah, blah. And I've kind of resisted just because it's not really that exciting here in South Alabama, but it may be practical. It may help a few people, even though I kind of uh, do my shopping and food in a kind of haphazard kind of way. But anyhow, thought I would share it with you. And also to um, realize here as I'm sharing this, I shop a little bit more often than I probably would simply because I have a roommate here and I share space in the refrigerator. So I don't just like buy like, you know, say necessarily I don't buy for like a whole week at a time because I got to share that space. And if I did that, a lot of my stuff would take up most of the refrigerator. So I generally end up going back and forth to the store several times throughout the week, bigger shopping, smaller shopping, and sometimes I've just got a taste for something and I go pick it up. So, one thing that I'm always grabbing is kale for my green smoothies and occasionally for my salads. Now I get, I generally will get two of the, two big bags at a time. About, you know, about two bags in the refrigerator is about the only space I'll, I'm, well, it's the space that I allot this just so I don't, you know, like I say, crowd out the whole uh, refrigerator. Now, I got two bags there. I generally use about half a bag for a smoothie, so that'll take me about four smoothies. Now, normally, I would have bought some lettuce on this trip, too, because I don't have any lettuce here right now, but I went to Publix, and Publix is not the best store that I shop at for lettuce. And I wasn't close to the other store, so I'm just going to have to do without the lettuce for right now. But normally I'll get a couple or three heads of red leaf lettuce. Sometimes I'll get four heads at a time of red leaf lettuce because um, it doesn't take up quite so much room. But uh, And that's normally the type that I get, red leaf. Uh, I really like that one. I'll get green leaf. Um, I'll get um, romaine sometime, but always some lettuce around the house except for right now. Um, Next, and I bought all the things that I keep for my salad toppings. Hit a purple cabbage, some broccoli, and some carrots. Now, if you watch some of my other videos before, like especially my What I Eat in a Day video, or maybe something where I've shared a salad, that's the kind of stuff that I like to put on top of my salad. And I keep this prepared in the refrigerator. I'll take all three of those later today or tomorrow, and I'll chop them up in my food processor. And I have, I'll have a little Tupperware with carrots in there. I'll have a little Tupperware with um, broccoli, chopped up broccoli in there. And I'll have a little Tupperware of purple cabbage and it just makes it convenient at the time because if it's already in there you know I just take it out I get my lettuce ready and I just put all these things on top of it lots of uh, lots of color lots of variety in my in my salads um, fruit bought a papaya today this is just kind of random um, I bought one papaya because the last few times Really, in this area, papaya, there's no rhyme or reason, and it can be hit and miss. Um, I've bought them before at uh, Publix and other, other markets in this area, and they turn out really good. They're really tasty. I've bought others that look the same, smell good, taste, like they pass every test in the store, and they, I get them home, I let them ripen for a few days, and they're just not that good. So keeping my fingers crossed on this one. I'm starting to see Atalfo honey mangoes again. So I picked up four of them this morning. They were currently at the Publix. They're four for $5, which is not a bad price. I went to Pensacola yesterday, went to one of the Asian markets over there, and I got a box of them. And they're a little bit ex more expensive than I used to pay at the Asian market over there. Um, it, was a case, it was a box of them, a case of them, whatever you want to call it. I think there was about 12 or 13 in there, and it was $15. So a little bit over $1 a piece. You know, not terrible, but not, not like I like to see that price point on, um, on, on my mangoes, on my fruit. 
Uh, what else did I buy? What else did I buy? This is also this is among the things that I bought today that's in my food haul and also things that I keep in the house all the time. Now I've, I keep dates. I keep dates around the house all the time, but mainly for recipes, mainly for dressings. I don't really sit around and eat dates. And these are not the, the most uh, cost efficient here. This, this package here is $6.99 for the Medjool dates. So when I can find them, I also keep some of the cheaper Daglet, Daglet uh, dates. I'm not a date professional around uh, to kind of mix in with these. These definitely are better in the recipes, but you know, you do what you got to do. Um, I think that is about it from what I bought this morning. Now, other things that I keep, oh, no, no, no. I, but this is something else I bought just a little while ago, but I keep this around the house all the time as well. I generally always have some lemons, some limes around the house because I use those in salad dressings and marinades a lot. Um, lemons probably more so than limes, but there's very good uh, dressing uh, by Raw Food Romance that I like that has limes. Um, got a nice avocado just because I haven't had an avocado in a while. Uh, I'll be make sure to keep an eye on this one because you know avocados only have about a 15 minute window when they're actually good. Um, got a package of cashews. I don't keep them around all the time, but I do keep them around because I like to make sauces. And I've got kind of like, um, and I might, if I do it, I'll share a recipe a little bit later. But in the next few days, I'm thinking over the weekend, I've been seeing corn around again. So I'm going to pick up some corn next time I go to this one curb market. And I'm going to make a corn chowder. And this may go in, it might either be the avocado or it might be the uh, cashews for a little bit of fat, a little bit of creaminess in there. Things I keep around the house all the time too. And this is stuff that I always keep around the house. Hemp seeds, hemp seed, hemp seeds. I use hemp seeds in a number of my recipes and a number of my recipes and a number of other people's recipes that I like. A lot of Lissa's recipes from raw food romance have these in there so i just i keep these around all the time i like them in my recipes and i like them in smoothies sometimes but over the last month or so i've like said well why not get a little bit better omega-3 ratio in there plus um well, I've got I've got uh, chia seeds. I bought these chia seeds yesterday at the little store I went to over in Pensacola. And the reason I've been well, like I say, it's it's twofold. The chia seeds are cheaper than the hemp seeds for me here, and like I say, they're a little bit better in omega threes than the hemp seeds are. So I keep these around, and I've started using these more in the smoothies than I used to. Um, what else do I have here? Tahini. I've got several dressings, two or three dressings, two or three recipes that I use tahini in. So I generally uh, keep some tahini around the house. Um, bought a new bottle of uh, blackstrap molasses yesterday. At that little, it's a little specialty store I go to over in uh, Pensacola. And I use it for, I, I put that in my uh, smoothies. I always have that in my green smoothies for a nice, good health healthy boost of uh, iron and calcium uh, go go google blackstrap molasses nutrition instead of asking me constantly and then i have to write down an answer and repeat it over and over and over if you just go into google and write blackstrap molasses nutrition it'll tell you all the stuff that it's got in it that you need to know and if you're one of the real pure people it is it's not raw and if it's just something you don't want to use don't use it don't use it People always want to have a discussion over what they don't use on their diet or what they don't do the same as other people. Like I've always quoted Bruce Lee, take what you can use, use it, and discard the rest. So whatever I ever mentioned that, that works for you, use it. If it doesn't work for you, don't use it. Um, I'm looking around here to see if I have missed anything else. As you know, I've mentioned a lot of times too, I always keep sprouts around the house. I currently have a full batch of fresh sprouts that I took out of uh, the jar last night. Um, I have some that are about another two or three days away, so I'm kind of getting better about um, staggering them to where I'm always going to have sprouts um, because in the past I've been bad about 
I don't think to start a new batch soon enough and I'll run out of the current ones and then boom, I don't have sprouts. Um, so those are kind of the things that I keep around all the time as we're moving more into the summer. It'll change up a little bit. I can't wait until we start seeing the first watermelons around and uh, maybe, maybe, I'm, I don't know. I'm not going to have much high hope for cantaloupe and honeydew because I haven't had much luck over the last few years, but I sure would... I'm in a new area, so maybe I'll have some of those this year. But uh, yeah, those are just the things I keep on hand. And if you keep things on hand, that's all that's in the house. I don't really have a choice. It's not like I'm going to say one day, like, oh, I don't feel like eating something raw and I'm going to eat something horrible. I just don't keep it in the house. So keep what you're going to eat in the house uh, and don't keep things around that you don't you don't that you shouldn't be eating or that you have decided you shouldn't be eating. So anyhow. Hope that might help you a little bit. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Have a beautiful weekend, and I'll see you here again next week. Peace.